Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. We have an unbelievable show for you today, and uh, we have some very special guests. I don't know if you recognize anyone here, but uh, we have Ken Casey, and we also have Denise Quayley, uh, Quayley <laughs> the star of the show. And uh, Denise is with the is a coach here with the Foundation for Education, and. Um, she wanted to get the word out to the people at home that what's coming up and what's the date in November? November 21st, November, Saturday night. Saturday night, November 21st is the Foundation for Education's Celebration for Education. And just teasing Ken, Ken Casey from the Dropkick Murphys, welcome to you? Talk of the Town. It's good to be here. Well, it's great to have you here. And Denise, uh, Denise, how do you know Kenny? Um, Ken and I have been friends for many years. Gosh, many, many years. Many years. I uh, watched Ken learn the bass down uh, Cape Cod. He taught me everything. <laughs> Has he learned it yet? Oh, He's learned it very still well. Still <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, Ken, you grew up in Milton, did you not? I did, yeah. Yeah, right down uh, by Kelly Field. And uh, I don't live here anymore, but uh, I have a lot of friends still in the town and a lot of friends with children in the schools in the town and stuff. So happy to help out Denise and, and the Milton school system, raise some money for a good cause. Well, we appreciate it. It's a, it's a big deal that you've decided to help out. I know you've helped out with some other causes. I was online looking. You did something with the Bruins with the beard. What was this beard thing? Oh, yeah, last year in the playoffs, the beard. I thought I'd never grown a beard in my life. and they. I can relate. Yeah, <laughs> and they, uh, the NHL, had, each team had, a, you know, the, you got pledges and you, you grew a beard. And um, I think I came in um, second in the second in the NHL, the whole NHL throughout the whole country uh, to Bob Sweeney, you know, who runs the Boston Bruins Foundation. And what he did to beat me in the last second is he, because of course I, I went to the dropkick fans and asked for donations and he went to the, all the Bruins fans and um, but he, 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 who quit. has more fans? Well, I, I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> well, the Bruins have more fans. Bob Sweeney doesn't have more fans. But what he did is he closed down the, uh, the contest and then, uh, after, after hours, he took one last corporate uh, thing and he beat me. I'll never forgive you for that. Uh, see, see. Well, you learned something, right? You what, Don't the, trust the, him. The beard did not look good. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Well, I can relate to that. Well, it's very kind of you to uh, help out the Foundation of Education. And, and Denise, it's kind of you to, to, you know, tap into your friendship here to try to get some help. And, uh, well, Kenny we appreciate doesn't that. forget his roots, so he's no. a good guy. Well, excellent. Well, tell folks... Well, how do you want to start this? Do you want to tell folks what Kenny might be doing for that that night? Do you want to tell? Why don't we? We'll tell that in a minute, so they can stay. With, don't turn that dial, okay? <laughs> right, right. Okay. So you're gonna have to wait. But uh, Ken's made uh, some generous offerings for the uh, for the auction uh, on the, the night of celebration. So, but let's tell people about the event. You got some uh, notes over here. You want to sell out or anything? No, I, I think I can try to wing it. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So, celebration for education. The Foundation of Education has been around since 1995, okay. and um, it's uh, the board consists of parents from mm -hmm. the Milton Public Schools primarily. And we're a volunteer board, so every year we have a celebration for education, which is the They largest. don't pay the board? We don't get oh, paid. God. No, no. Um, it's the largest fundraiser in Milton. Um, raises uh, a lot of money, uh, $125,000 to support the schools. And the funds... Each year, approximately. Each year. Just right. from this one event, event right? That's right, okay. that's right. And the funds um, go to support uh, programs that are otherwise not funded by the operating budget. So... This year we have a theme, and the theme is up and up and away above the uh, beyond the basics, and um, we are going to fund enrichment activities within the Milton Public Schools. And what does that mean, enrichment activity? Well, it's I know these people at home go, "What's an enrichment activity?" <laughs> um, well, just you know, one of the things that has happened, from what I understand, over the past few years in the Milton Public Schools, I'm relatively new to it, um, is that a lot of the um, programs, such as art and music, have been whittled away. Um, and other uh, music. So kids, what do they need music for? Well, I mean, what's it, it what's it do? What's it do? Well, look at it do to this guy. I mean, come on. Right. So we're trying to reintroduce that back and, okay. and enriching programs uh, directly connected with student achievement. So um, artists and residents, authors and residents, having somebody come in uh, who's a published author mm -hmm. to um, go over their book and then have the children maybe do their own book or you know um, illustrate their own book. You have a book yet? Working on it. Yeah. It can be a, an author too. I just came yeah. up with the idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just enriching, we have a robotics class that I believe is in Pierce. Mm -hmm. um, so we had somebody come and present um, what they would do with money if, to enrich the students to help with a robotics class, um, building robots and presenting them in competition. So that's really neat stuff. And 
I think it, you know, not all of our children do well in a classroom environment every day. It's it's something above and beyond this that they would go and, and uh, something up, up, up and, and away. away. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. Um, so the the actual function is November twenty first, and our theme this year is something for everyone. Uh, we have a casino, uh, which we had last year. Yes. The difference this year is the casino will be for prizes versus you know money. So you wouldn't be cashing in your chips for money, but you will be um, getting some raffle tickets for some wonderful prizes. That's and probably a better idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it more will go towards the whole reason for the evening. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have a comedian, Paul Nardizzi, who I think Kenny funny knows. Guy. Funny Is guy. He funny? Real funny guy. Yeah, good guy. And he has kids our age, and he can really, I think he's going to bring a lot to the He event. can relate to us? He can relate to <laughs> us. Um, in addition to that, we have um, a video that's being put together by Tom Fahey. Tom in Fahey town. in town, yes. He yeah. was on the show. He's a, oh, really? Oh, yes. Yeah. He's a cameraman guy. for 60 Minutes and a lot yeah. of those programs. Yes, he's very, yeah. very smart man. He's doing something for ABC on Monday, interviewing Al Gore or something. I don't know. And then um, he's going to talk with you. Then he's going to talk with you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I come Al, Al. <laughs> Al, can you wait a little bit? I got Denise, Denise, can I? Okay. Right, right, exactly. So um, we're really excited about that. And then we have Bingo. and um, That was fun. Dinner, of course. Bingo's lost. You should see Mr. Fame last he, year with Bingo. Gonna, he was unbelievable. By, that, by, he, oh, uh, popular, popular demand. demand. <laughs> so, uh, and then we're going to end the night with uh, DJ. And some dancing. dancing. Yeah. And last year was nice because people could walk around. They had the buffet set up. I found it to be a more relaxing, and you weren't just stuck at a table with, you know, right. that set group of people. You know, so right. not that those people were bad, but you know, right, right, it is. So. And we also have great live auction items. Um, Jim Wells, who is Chief Wells' uh, brother, will be the auctioneer. Doesn't he own the um, the power? Does he own the gas station with the power equipment down by the Woolen Rink on K and I have no idea. <laughs> One of his brothers does. Oh, I don't think so. He he lives in Hingham. He works in Hingham for Caldwell Banker. I'm not too sure what oh, he does. Oh, okay. All right. Um, but he's uh, a licensed auctioneer, and he does a lot of charities. He's done right. Father Bill's and Dana Faber and uh, St. Agatha's, so he's agreed to work with us. So oh, we're nice. I'm really excited about that, yeah. And so what are some of the things that people might find at the auction this year? The live auction? Well, we can talk about the silent auction. Yeah. Whatever <laughs> auction you want to talk about. Denise. Um there are, are these people, I mean, they look at this. Get your pens ready. There we go. It's online. Foundation, Milton Foundation of Education dot org. Visit us, please. But um, French Riviera, the Panarillas have generous, generously donated a week in the French Riviera. Have you been home. there? I haven't. Have oh, actually, no. Riviera? I have been there. You have been? <laughs> <laughs> Is it any good? On my, not at Jane's place. That's what I thought you meant. Oh. Beautiful. Is it? It's beautiful. Nisa, it's really nice. I've been there. Nisa's nice. I didn't know that was in French. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Wow. See, that's I why we need to I just saw, a, I just saw a nightclub in the highway on the way in and out. That's <laughs> Is that well, where the cons, cons is? Like, they, is it the Canes or the Cons? Cons Festival? The, 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 I don't know if that's in the French Riviera. I, I have no idea. No, no. I know Monte Carlo is near there, so uh -huh. if you're gambling. Um, and we have a week in Jackson Hole, Minnesota, uh, which is donated by Lori McIntosh and Rich Mickle. Oh, that was um, nice. Yeah, really nice. And then we have... She's with Sustainable Milton. She is. Lori's done a great job there. Yeah, she's an unbelievable volunteer for the town. And then we have um, a week in St. Croix, the Cro uh, Carol and... Oh, the Ro Cro Rosses. The, the Crosnes, the Rosses. Rosses. Carol Rosses. <laughs> Her email has... It looks like Crosnes. But anyway, I'm sorry, Carol. <laughs> it's the Rosnes um, donated that, which is a great hit. And we also have some items from the Dropkick Murphys, which have been generous. Well, after them. hearing all those good items, I feel kind of... No. Measly. But, you know, oh, you can't on. hang a trip... On your wall when you get home. No, exactly. Yourself. You can't hang a trip out your um, We, trip. unfortunately, are going to be away on tour, or we would have been, been playing at that night. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, um, I donate, uh, the band's donated two tickets and backstage passes to our uh, St. Patrick's Day concert in March, um, which will be the next time we play in the Boston area, and a signed t shirt and a signed CD. And I wanted to make it um, special and something that you couldn't get at another auction, kind of a one of a kind thing, and almost one of a kind. And there's a there's a certain item that we have that we had made only were, were made only by uh, for the band members and some people that work for us and some very close family. I mean, family and very close friends. And one of them was made there. It's a gold record we received and um, uh, for 500,000 units sold. And this particular one that you see on the wall was made for. Denise and her husband Desi for being such supportive friends back in the days when uh, when know, it was tough to find really support. Right? <laughs> no, 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 did she no. ever give you any meals? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we did have uh, we had one maid that's uh, 
for, you know, someone. One of your fans is behind the camera, Connor Sullivan. Oh, Connor, can you zoom in on that all right? Can you see a nice slow, slow scan on there's, that? There may be. Um, oh, it says presented to Dropkick Murphys to commemorate the RIAA certified sales of more than 500,000 downloads of the Hellcat record single. I'm shipping it up to Boston. I don't think the people in this area have ever heard that song. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's a boat I'd say probably uh, the seven guys in the band. We've got one made for each of our parents and, uh, and a, you know, our manager and then the Quailies. So, um, you guys are great. So you'll be maybe the 16th owner and that's it, you know. Right. So, so uh, yeah, hopefully people will enjoy. Hopefully someone will be there maybe with a son or daughter that would appreciate was there it any, just in time for Christmas. Was know? there any enrichment program at Milton High? when you Did you go to Milton High? Uh, I did. I went to uh, St. Mary's and then Catholic Memorial and then finished it all up at Milton High. Uh, you wanted to just <laughs> try them all? Oh, yeah. Why did you just get in trouble with each <laughs> one and they had to move you on to the next one? <laughs> we won't talk about that, folks. That's, uh, that's for another interview. But Milton High is where I was introduced to music. It was. So yeah. Tell us that story. That it's that's really kind of a lie. But I <laughs> uh, it but sounds I, good. I'm sure I know his music being off. I just wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> but, you know, but I mean, music has been great for me. And obviously, um, uh, you know, just for your mind, for children. And Denise's uh, daughter was just upstairs playing piano. And I think, I think... Uh, I think it has a very beneficial place in the school system, you know, whether it's to to teach people a different method of learning or whether it's just to man, take a break from the books for a minute, you know, right. and, and expand the other side of your brain. So um, hopefully uh, stuff like this can go to whether it's music, the arts, and anything that can uh, benefit the children. When are we going to see a Dropkick Murphy uh, rendition on Guitar Hero? Uh, actually, there already is one. Is yeah. it really? Is it really? Yeah, um, I didn't know that. come on, you gotta watch Talking the Town to find these things. I don't know how you get it. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how you get it. <laughs> I know the rock band, and, and I know there's one in rock band and one in Guitar Hero, and it was like, uh, yeah, I know, I know, I don't know how to do it, but I, I actually, I, lo I ironically, I, um, I played Jonathan Papelbot in Guitar Hero, and he he beat me really bad. <laughs> it was embarrassing, but this is what I figured out. I'm left-handed, and I didn't know how to flip the settings on Guitar Hero. So it was basically like I had dyslexia coming down at me because when you're watching the screen, everything was backwards. So I'm was it filmed? Did anyone um, film that event? Uh, it's not filmed on video. It was lots of pictures taken. Yeah. Because that could you know give kids hope. You know, <laughs> they go, "Wow, if he's that bad a guitar hero, is, you mean I got a chance?" <laughs> guitar hero is not very much like the real thing. Yeah, thank God, or I'd be out of a job. <laughs> so let me ask you a question: Were you a straight A student? Um, you know, I, I, I tried, I tried mm -hmm. very hard, and um, I, uh, I think I did well in my last year of high school, mm -hmm. just in time to, when I peaked at the right moment, you know. He so. did well because he met his wife. Yeah. Uh, so you had a yeah, we, really did well. we were just upstairs actually talking, uh, having dinner, and, uh, and uh, the very quest, this very subject the school came up in. And said, oh, how long did you go to see Evan? How, did, how long did you go to Milton High? And I said, I went to Milton High for two years. And my wife said, you did? I thought you just, <laughs> thought you just went for one. I was like, wow. <laughs> so it had an immediate impact on you, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, God. So you're heading to L.A. Um, this week? Yeah, I started. So when, they, when people, when you're watching the show, you'll be out in California? Maybe. It depends on when you air. We go straight up the coast to Vancouver and then across to Montreal. Which sounds glamorous, but there's Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Winnipeg, right. Manitoba, and a lot of places England. where it's like probably already seems like February up there. So <laughs> I see you're not going to the eastern provinces, no New Brunswick, uh, PEI, no, or Nova Scotia. We've done Nova Scotia before. Beautiful. Where'd you beautiful go in Nova places. Scotia? Halifax. We did Halifax. Yeah. At the um, um, I forget we did at the we did a, a big room at the college there. Um, I can't remember what it was, but uh, it's like. A gymnasium or something, you know. The St. Mary's, I think, is right in, in, in Halifax. I went to school in Nova Scotia. Oh, so. it's awesome, yeah. And they love the other type of music. They really do. They we were supposed to go to Newfoundland this summer. We had oh. a conflict with another show we had already booked. Um, so that's another goal to get to Newfoundland, yeah. Great so place. close, you know. Right. But, so this summer. And you've been to Europe with the, with the band? 
Yeah, we go. We've been to Europe, man. We go to Europe probably more than we tour in America. And do you yeah. find that um, you even more bigger success in Europe? The crowds bigger. Yeah, you know, what do you, what you know, find? In Europe, the difference with mainland Europe to America is like because um, we don't have a whole lot of commercial success, but you can like um, people don't grow out of like you know um, you know the pressures of life or whatever. You know, you still see people going to like four concerts a week over there. You know, whereas I know for myself, I have children now and those days of dwindling down where I can get out a lot, you know, and it just seems that that is the escape for a lot of people to get out and enjoy live music and um, rock and roll and folk music, you know, like all the things we draw are influenced from um, a very popular and uh, you can really come up the ranks as a live band to a way higher degree than you can in the States, I've found. You know? So it's harder to break in over here. It's easier I think to so. If without mainstream... Uh, commercial success, I think, yeah, because like um, there's a lot of state-sponsored festivals where we've had the opportunity to play, you know, on stages in front of 75,000 people, you know, and kind of one percent of them, you know, stick with you and follow you to sure. your other shows. It's it's really a way to build a fan base, you know. One thing that I noticed in doing some research that um, you really try to keep your ticket prices reasonable. Yeah. So you're really concerned about the common, the, the middle ground, the fans yeah. that just, uh, you know, want to enjoy a good show, but they don't want to pay yeah. 150 bucks well, a whack. Yeah, I know. I, that was just a uh, decision we'd always try to make, just kind of what we were all about, you know, and not trying to, this is never about, like, making money. I mean, clearly we do it full time, so we right. have to earn a living to provide sure. for our families and whatnot. But um, we really just, out of, just trying to be fair to our fans, you know, we, we never, we were always on the lower side of tickets, and now, ironically, with the economy, you know, it's really been beneficial to us, because as people can only afford to go to one or two concerts, you know, maybe in a summer even, you know, if ours is under $30, it's you sure. know, a lot easier than paying, you know, 250 to go see, I don't know, Jimmy Buffett or something, you know, so, um, I think it's nice, and, and you know, what people appreciate it, same with, like, T-shirts and everything like that, you know, do all American-made products and sell them for like fifteen dollars for a T-shirt. Whereas, you know, your basic um, wow. band at Great Woods is charging fifty dollars, and know? they're not made here. No, they're not made here, right. and they're, they're paying three dollars for them and selling them for fifty. It's just, it just, but you know, I, um, that whole thing is, has really been beneficial to us because that's made people want to stick with us. I think in the long run, you know. That's your roots. You wrote about one of the songs, one of your first songs was about John Kelly. Yeah, it's my grandfather, yeah. And he was a union worker. Yeah, he was a guy who would have punched me in the face if I charged $50 for a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know the value of a buck. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you just stick with your roots, you know. So maybe you've come up with a business model that can be a real success, you know. So maybe it's not just the band itself, it's some of the other things that you've made, those decisions such as keeping the ticket prices fair and... You know, you're appealing to a larger audience, audience who eventually they'll download a lot of music as they get older. You know, I'm I still a fan of bands that I listened to when I was in college, yeah. still today. Yeah. I'm buying those now. So those people that are your fans now are going to be buying them 20 years right. from now. That's right. well, and that's how you're going to be able to enjoy it and play a little golf when yeah. you're retired. <laughs> if not, we'll be, uh, we'll be asking for a room in the Quailies house. There you go. <laughs> and, and they'd probably oh, provide it, wouldn't they? They have before. And they'll, <laughs> hopefully they won't have to again. <laughs> So, uh, so Denise, back to the uh, up, up, and away and the yeah. celebration for education. What do we need people at home to do right now to help this event become the success that we need it to be? Oh, thank you. I, um, you know, go online, visit us online, and check out the Foundation for Education if you don't know about us. Where, how do they find you online? It's um, MiltonFoundationForEducation.org. It's kind of long, mm -hmm. but it will get you there. And you'll see, you can read all about the foundation, what we've done in the past in terms of teacher, awarding teacher grants. We hired a grant writer that's been you know, generating a lot of money for the, that was the, a good idea. the schools. Um, all those smart boards are from the smart boards, smart boards the have made a difference. There's a lot of things that uh, we're hopefully going to feature in this video that Tom Fahey is putting together to really oh, bring, a lot of those bring to the forefront what we do. And that's going to be, are you, are you going to play that before the event or just at the event? It's going to be at the event. I don't know if we're going to have it ready before the event, but certainly mm -hmm. after the event we'll have it available online and okay. we'll try, probably do it in a lot of open houses to try to reach a lot of people. Um, there are about you know over 600 people that come to the celebration and um, so what you can do to help is buy a ticket. You can go online and buy your ticket. And they've kept the prices down 
the kind um, of how much time we have? Okay, okay. Um, they kept the prices down. They, they didn't raise the price last year, and they're not raising them again this year. Right. We've kept it at seventy-five dollars, and it really gets you a lot for your for your money in terms of a dinner and dancing and a comedian and a casino and right. you know uh, accessibility to these live and silent auction items. Um, one more live auction I wanted to mention, okay. if you don't mind, is Ta I, I don't mind. You, <laughs> folks, you mind? No, I don't mind. Um, Tanya Nayak, who um, lives in town and actually is um, good friends with Ken. Um, I happen to be at a fundraiser with Kenny and, and with Tanya. Um, hockey, is it hockey? Golf is fight cancer? Golf fights cancer. Golf fights cancer. And um, what a great person. And uh, she actually offered a home color consultation for up to four rooms in your house if, um, if you have to live within 15 miles of, of Boston. Uh, it's worth about $1,000, and she's from HGTV. Um, she has her own show, she right? She has her own show, yeah. yeah I saw her, really I read it in the paper recently. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah she's really, really nice. So, um, But go online, you'll see all those I items and more. You can also do uh, donate online, um, um, provide a cash donation, which is always welcome, and no donation is too small. Um, that's also, important. You yeah. know, it's a lot of little that can make a difference. That's right. Hey, if you can give more, please do that. That's right. But if you can only give a little, do that also. Right, and we have um, forms you can download if you have an in-kind donation. If you own a business and you want to promote the business, um, you know, a gift certificate to a restaurant. Um, we have a lot of... 88 Wharf, ever hear that restaurant? Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good, isn't Excellent, it? Excellent, Have you ever been down there? Yeah. I have a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good restaurant in town. Um, but we also have, uh, you know, just use your imagination. We mm -hmm. had somebody call us. We sent out an email, and a Cunningham parent called us and said... I saw on the Today Show a couple of weeks ago a band out in Harmony, Minnesota. Um, what they did is they went, uh, they, had, they were a live auction item at one of their fundraisers, and what they're going to do is they, they wake up somebody at 7 o'clock in the morning, so some neighbor, you can play a prank on a neighbor, or whatever, you could sing happy birthday to a neighbor, it doesn't matter, um, show up on, their, on the front lawn and, uh, you know, Wake them up at seven. We could do a recording of Ken Casey yeah, being on someone's answering machine. Yeah. Hey, this is Ken Casey with the Dropkick yeah. Burbies. Uh, Denise and Desi on home right now. <laughs> Please leave a message to get back. See that? We, Denise we could be has a good recording on the answering machine of me, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we about that. Um, okay. I actually called Chief Wells to, to ask his permission because we figured we we you know pass it by him in terms of a band doing this. We didn't want to upset the Milton neighbors. And he had thought that I was talking about the dropkick burpees. Chief Wells and I go way back. Yeah. <laughs> I said, no, Chief, it's not the dropkick. And he was willing to do it, actually. He said, I'll just send a squad car there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, that one. Ever hear the Boston Crusaders? I haven't. They are drum and oh, corps from Dorchester. Oh, okay. And um, my uncle was worked with them and volunteered a lot. And my uncle was dying of cancer. And they had come back from a, um, a concert out in Syracuse, New York. And the buses pulled down on uh, Pleasant Street. And he lived on Horton Place. And the whole band marched up. Round, got around his house, the whole drum bugle corps. Wow. Had to be 80 or 90 members. Wow. And they played for him. That's it. it was just, wow. you know, those things are priceless. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And obviously, you, you're doing things that are priceless for people, and it makes a difference, you know? Right. And you're making a difference. And, you know, what Denise did, yes, Denise called a friend. He, you know, Ken doesn't live in Milton. I mean, he grew up in Milton, but I mean, a lot of you grew up in Milton, and it doesn't mean you're going to do anything special for the town. Ken, uh, Denise, you know, tapped into her friendship and said, what can I do to help the Foundation for Education at the Celebration for Education event? And she talked to Ken and Ken said, sure, I'll help. See, it's all about relationships. It's all about who you know and having the courage to speak up and say, hey, listen, we need your help. And um, someone will step up to the plate and help out. And um, that's, well, what, that's what she's asking you to do. Talk to someone that you know. And uh, maybe they can help out a little bit. And, um, and we appreciate that you've done that. You've come on... TV, tell the people at home that, hey, you get a, something that truly is priceless, this Dropkick Murphy. Hey, Connor Sullivan, you're a big fan uh, of the Dropkick Murphys. What do you think of that? Do you think that the people are going to like that? Connor's unemployed, though. He's got to get it. Connor can't bid on it right now. <laughs> so, folks, Connor's looking for a job, graduate of Catholic U and Milton High, so... Just call it to uh, Milton Cable and maybe we can uh, help him find if a job. Corner job, I'll get you another one. It's not that price. <laughs> you want to say something else? One other thing I just wanted to mention is we have, as part of this um, Boston to Bermuda raffle, um, we're going to be selling tickets in advance and um, at the uh, parent-teacher conferences and all the board members um, are selling the tickets. I'm selling the tickets, and I'm sure online we'll have a way if you'd like a ticket. Um, they're one for $20, um, six for 100 and... Um, it's going to be great. So Boston, Bermuda, Rapid.
Well, you know, we um, had the raffle for the Irish raffle for yes, years, yeah. and I know the Sheffields won that. Yeah. And you, you, mean, you just never think you're going to be the one. Right. But you know what? Someone's going to win. And you got to have a ticket to win. Right. And so this is it's going to be a little different. Just shake it up. and uh, right. So it's up, up, and away. We Beyond need people. We need you to step up the plate and help this really work out. You know, it takes all of us to lift this balloon and to en enrich these children's lives, and uh, we can make a difference. So, hey, I appreciate you watching Talk of the Town. I appreciate Ken. I appreciate Thank you, you coming on the show, me. Denise. Pleasure. We appreciate you asking Ken because yeah. that's how it happens. You know, it's if it guy. wasn't for you, he wouldn't be here yeah. because there's plenty of. Uh, let me ask you a question. You ever, do the drop kicks ever get inquiries from? Fundraising organizations looking for your help. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, I bet. It's I bet. great. It's great to be able to help, though. You know. Uh, but you know, it's hard to help everybody, and you have yeah. to go through that and kind of decide well, what am I going to help. And and obviously, your relationship with the Quayley family is great enough that you chose this among thousands. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, that and my love for the Milton School System. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. And we're going to post a copy of his transcript online. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, how much time do we have, Connor? We have four minutes? Okay, one thing. <laughs> Are you ready? I got one thing. Tell us one thing about yourself that no one would oh guess or word. believe unless you told them. Oh, my word. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> nice. I don't know. You don't know, eh? Well, you never picked up, I mean, in terms of getting the band started. Oh, well, I mean, it was a, f yeah, well, I'll tell you the story of how the band started. That'd be great. Um, I had uh, been talking about starting a band for a while with some friends, and just purely for hobby, um, and we all got a haircut uh, in um, Wallston at this place called The Shaving Brush that a girl named Karen Kelly owned, and she, she would see, we'd be getting a haircut and talking about it, and she'd say, oh, you can use the basement of the barbershop, and We'd say, yeah, someday we'll do that, someday we'll do that. And um, I was actually going to UMass and bartending at Symphony Hall at the time. And another kid that I bartended with said, I'm sick of listening to you say, you're going to start a band. I said, my band's got a show in three weeks, and I dare you to open for us. Now, I didn't know how to play an instrument at the time. <laughs> and I said... He didn't yeah. have any enrichment. <laughs> no, no, no. And I said, yes. And the rest is history. You know, we just, I love a good dare. And, uh, he challenged you. Yeah, and, we, and um, we played, um, we opened for his band, and um, Denise was probably at that show. Club okay. three? Yeah, club three, yeah. Was it? And, uh, and it was just friends that, you know, I guilted into coming. And, you know, then as we just um, took the step into playing, actually, in front of people who didn't know us, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we... Uh, I don't really know how it's still going, actually. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, that was how it started on a day of uh, and, uh, three weeks' notice and not one lesson. So uh, well, Kenny, One of these days I'll get a lesson. <laughs> no, I think you did fine without it. I think Kenny's, you know, he's, he's one of the most humble people I know, but I, you know, I'm so proud of him in a lot of ways. But he not only, you know, plays, it, plays an instrument and sings a lot of the songs, but he writes a lot of the music, he produces the albums, he designs a lot of the merchandise, and, you know, he is from Milton. He went to the public school, so he did, they did something. He went to all the different <laughs> schools. <laughs> no, and a lot of summer school. <laughs> no, hey, but you did what you had to do, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's, 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 it just goes to show you. I mean, you just, you have a dream, you have, you know, something you really want, you know, to happen, and you, you just make it happen, you just do it. What's your dream now? Uh, my dream now is to... Oh, just, you know, be able to kind of keep the legacy that the band started as, like, um, something that, you know, just is, just we can continue to, like, do what we do, like, tastefully and respectfully, and when it's all over, just have people say, oh, they treated us well or whatever, you know? That and to go to a few countries we haven't been to yet. We've been most all over the world, but we're, we're trying to go to Russia and South America in this next year, that's uh the final frontiers for us, you know, travel-wise. So. so you get to see the world? Yeah, yeah, I never got out of 128. Uh, <laughs> much, and now I've been to Australia and Japan and a lot of, a lot of cool places, so yeah, very fortunate. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing with Denise. Do you want to say something else? He also wants to golf and surf all the time. Yeah. That's his dream. Yeah. yeah, golf. More golf and more, more surf. Yeah. It's good to have a <laughs> nice job. What? Surfing. Golfing and surfing. That's You're a surfer? It. Yeah, well, I used to be before I had kids, but uh, they get into that age where they, they want, want to surf. surf. So you know what? I'm sure. Right. But golf, it's a good, being a musician is a good job for golf because you get a lot of free time in the day. day. So I take my golf clubs with me uh, all over the world and 
try to play the top, trying to currently play the top 100 golf courses mm -hmm. in the world, and I get a good chunk of them out of the way. So I got uh, number, number I think it's number 10 called Cape Kidnappers in New Zealand uh, a few months ago, so that's a big one, New Zealand, that's far away. So. You got a hole in one recently? Yeah. Any green jacket in the future? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Only a silver visor for you, right? <laughs> All right, well, Denise, I think, um, I think you're on the way to a great... Stack. Well, thank yeah. you for featuring uh, the foundation. Oh, we have thousands, millions of viewers on Talk of the I Town. I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we'll put this online, too. You don't mind, do you, Ken? No. <laughs> That's great. All righty, well, thanks again. Again, we've been talking with Ken Casey, Denise Quayley, and Brian Kelly. This is Talk of the Town, and we'll see you at the Celebration of Education on... November 21st, Saturday November 21st, Saturday Lombardo's. night. At Lombardo's. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night.